Welcome to the third lecture of Statistics for Non-Statisticians lecture series. This lecture series is mainly focused for students and professionals without major mathematical background. My aim is to make you clear about the basic concepts and the latter part of the lecture series I will do some practicals with you to improve your practical skills. Today I am going to do a small lecture on how to plot the variability. You may wonder that you have not seen this type of lecture. If you can remember in the previous lecture, I explained you about the shapes of discrete distribution and continuous distribution. If you can remember those two, to understand the shape of the distribution, it is important to know how to plot the variability. Please see the board here. In the x-axis of the diagram, the student's marks are here from 0 to 100. In y-axis, frequency is there. So, there are two students with marks of 0 to 10. Four students with marks of 10 to 20 and 6 students marks in the range of 20 to 30, 6 students in the range of 30 to 40, 6 students in the range of 40 to 50 and higher students are in the range of 50 to 60, frequency is 10. If you can remember small edge mathematics, this is, you can easily understand, this is a histogram. In a histogram, in the x-axis, we plot the different possibilities and here we plot the frequency. Now you can understand that there is a shape for this distribution. That is how we plot variability in a graph. Now most important thing is getting the shape of the distribution. So now you can see this kind of shape is there. If I erase the board, you can get a shape like this or else different possibilities are there. You can get shape like this or you may be create another shape like this. Depending on the frequency, you can get different shapes. Remember, in x-axis we mark the different possibilities, in y-axis we mark frequency. Instead of frequency, if we mark the probability in y-axis, we call that as probability distribution. Please understand this. We are going to discuss about the shape of the distribution in next few lectures.